Hey guys, it's Daphne and we are getting together to work on page four of Couture. So I just wanted to give you a quick look at where we're headed um, so you can get, get ready. Uh, let's see. So this is an ephemera card that I just matted on um, black cardstock and then I put something on the back because part of this is gonna be exposed. So if you'll locate this um, uh, journaling card, I call it ephemera, they changed the names, but uh, locate this journaling card, put it on your black card stock, flip it over, and then put um, a mat on the flip side, and then you can set that aside. Okay, so here's our flap, and then these elements are going to go on the inside. Let's scoot that around. So we have a single flap and then everything else is going to ca uh, cascade from here. So I really wanted to use this pattern. It's from the 12 by 12. And in order to get two panels, um, I'm going to use the second half of this over on page five. I wound up a little bit short. So what I'm going to do to compensate for that is add this half inch strip right here. And then I'm gonna add a half inch strip on this side as well, and then it'll fit just right. Or I'm probably gonna to have to trim it a little bit. So this is also from the 12 by 12. It's got the pale uh, pattern on the back. And I'm on page four, and I had to open a second pack of 12 by 12. So there's going to be, uh, I'm using two 12, and a, 12 by 12 DCEs and one eight by eight DCE for this project. Remember, it is eight, the pocket pages are 8 by 11, so this is the widest format I've done so far. And it's using a lot of paper. And one of the things I learned is I, I like this diagonal. I think it looks really cool, but I would have made this a half inch shorter so that I could make better use of my 12 by 12s. Instead, this was six and a half. So in some cases, you know, I couldn't, you know, get two out of the 12 by 12 without having to do some color blocking. All right, so that's in. So now I'm going to trim this down to fit just right. And it looks like I'm going to have to take off just a little bit. I hope everybody's doing well. Let's see, that's a little light. It is Wednesday here in San Diego. We had a nice warm day and uh, this weekend, oops, I got stuck in my trimmer. Mm, that doesn't seem right. Hang on. This wasn't square to start with so I'm going to go back and check my measurement. Um, this uh, coming weekend on the 8th, 9th, and 10th I'm going to be over at the La Jolla Marriott uh, at a scrapping retreat. So I'm kind of looking forward to that. And I'm going to teach a little class on Saturday at 2 p.m. So I'm excited about that. That should be fun. As well as the rest of the retreat in general. It's, it's really nice to get out and be able to, you know, do more activities now that things have opened up a bit. Okay. this will do it. Yeah, let's get some ink on there. Sorry, I've got a, a stray hair. I don't know if it's mine or Nola's. So for those of you interested, the next album I'll be working on is uh, Sonora. Sonora? Yeah, I think that's what it is. The Desert. Um, the new Stamperia Desert Collection. Is that right? I said... No, Chow Bella. Chow Bella Sonora. So that'll be fun. My husband is a huge fan of the desert. Okay, so I've already got this piece... Um, trimmed out, so we're pulling that pattern in the same as, as is on the front. Looks like I've already inked it. Okay. 
Okay, there we go. Now, on this side, I'm going to go ahead and add, <laughs> if I can pick it up, I'm going to add this strip on this side. So I am going to glue that down first, and we'll trim this to fit. But before we glue the uh, main body down, we need uh, to figure out our magnet situation, which may mean that we've got to get uh, more done on the flap first. Okay, and again, if I didn't mention it, these are half inch strips. Okay, there we go. All right, so for the cover, I'm going to use this um, double matted uh, journaling card. So it's gonna go here. And yeah, I think I'm gonna go uh, basically from the corner here down. Um, I think I'm gonna leave about a quarter inch on just so that it's nice and snug. And I'm going to shift it up just ever so slightly. So I'm going to kind of hold that in place, draw a quick reference line so I know where to put my glue. I'll give you some measurements in just a minute in terms of how far down this is. I think it's about a half inch, but I'll check that and let you know. Okay, so there is, I love this. This is probably my favorite journaling card. So there you go, so that's on the back. I'm gonna take off my little pencil mark. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is we're going to put a frame right here, I think. Nope, it's gonna go like this. Okay, so this um, is, I made this frame by cutting out um, the main image and then that left just the frame part of the journal card. And then I put it on um, a hinged um, cardstock so that it's a pocket. And the way I did it is I had actually just gone a half inch um, wider on either side and on the bottom. And I just added those gussets. And I was just going to put it down, but I decided to make it a pocket over here. So I backed it with black cardstock. So. Um, that's a little bit confusing, but if you basically if you make a card and then cut the center out and then you can glue uh, to the two sides, um, the one side will be scored, two sides you can glue down and then that will create a pocket for you. So that's going to go here and I'm going to stagger it off this backing. And hopefully that wasn't too confusing. And of course, you don't even have to make it a pocket. It could just be um, this ephemera card or journaling card on a black photo mat. Looking for kind of an even border around with the orange here. So I think the orange, black and white, and the orange, I think it looks great together. There we go. And I think, I'm not sure if this will even fit. It's it's a little bit tight. I need, whatever I put in here needs to be a little bit narrower. Oh, no, it'll fit, okay. There we go, of course that would be a photo, right? Okay, now on this side, my plan is to have this on the back and then we're gonna place this and it's the same thing, it's a pocket. And um, you can make it by building your, um, five by seven card and then gluing two uh, of the sides to make your pocket. Now I did put 
uh, hinges. I don't know which way the light's going to help, but I had actually hinged this on three of the four sides because I thought I was just going to lay it straight down on, on the um, uh, designer paper, in which case the stripes would have shown through because um, it would have just only had these little hinge areas holding it down. And then I wasn't sure how I was going to use it, so I wound up backing it with cardstock. So there we go. Now this is directional, so I was just making sure I knew which way it was going to go. We still need to trim this down. it. Okay, that looks good. So I'm going to add my ink. And we're not going to glue this down just yet because I still got to figure out what I'm doing with my magnets. And I'm not sure. Okay, because this is going to go here. So we've got to think about that a little bit. Probably. I think I'm going to go out about that far. I think I'm going to try to figure out how to get something up here. And I should have done that first. Always something, isn't it? It's, I think there's too much cardstock for it to go through here, so it's going to have to be something up here. And we can hide it behind. I'm trying to find the right one. You can hide it behind. Um, I don't want it to come through here. So I think I do want it up high. Well, that's where we're going to put the picture in, so I can't cover that up. <laughs> okay, so that's another option is to actually just put it on the frame. So which do I like? I might have to make a smaller one. Gotta think, think, think. Well, let's see. Let's see if I can, if there's any chance of lifting. So this is really where I want it. And if not, then I'm going to cover it. It opened right up, so I'm happy with that. I mentioned it earlier, but if you don't have one of these, get one. <laughs> especially if you're crafting with me, the queen of forgetting magnets. That's my channel name. Magnets? What magnets? <laughs> we don't need any magnets. And I still need to get, um, maybe I, I have that now. I still need to get a plastic spatula so I can push the magnets in because right now everything I have is metal and I just pull them right back out. I thought I had just... Sorry for all the noise, guys. Uh, yeah, I did. I do. Here they are. It's not the not exactly thin, but I'll try to get it pushed in. Oh yeah, no problem. Let's see where we're at. That's good enough for me. I'll take it. Now we'll get a little bit 
of glue in here and no one will be the wiser. I'm just gonna hold that down for a second. Get my fat tape out so I can locate the magnet on the opposite side. If I had half a brain, it'd be a magnet on either side because this is kind of bulky, holding both sides. Let's see, maybe I can get under here too. I'll, I'll turn it, oh yeah, oh my gosh, this is just unbelievable. This never happens. <laughs> it's my lucky day. So I'm gonna put a second magnet down here. Wow, that was too easy. I don't feel bad about making a mistake now. Hopefully you guys are watching this a little ahead so you're not going through all the pain um, I'm going through. Oh, you know why I didn't do that? I, get, I just remembered. Because this is going to be here, and that's going to be too thick to go through. Right? Am I right? Maybe I can adjust its location so that... Nope, then it would land just directly on the frame. So, yeah, I really, that's not going to do us any good. So, but it may just be lost to prosperity. <laughs> I might, I'm just going to go ahead and glue it closed. After I get everything placed, if it's not staying closed for me, I may take advantage of this magnet in a way that I haven't thought of yet. And so to keep that in mind, I'm going to put a magnet on the top so I don't forget it's there. I can get if I can get one in my hands. Oh, for the heaven's sakes, I, I'm having the worst bout of. Oh no! I, t I should never turn it over. Oh, I know why I'm using the other side because of the frame. Okay, because I turn it over and I start rethinking my design. This is because I'm too lazy to dig for my pick tool. I'm going to do something else, I think. I just want to splash a color here. It doesn't matter which way I turn this, it looks upside down. Okay. Let's see how that looks. See, these lines are together. I don't like that. So I'm going to push this down a little. There we go. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay with that. 
All right, um, I'm gonna mount this on photo uh, paper and I may put another little something here so it brings in this orange again. So let me trim this down to, to fit. Okay, that's going to be fine. So let's go ahead and get this in. I'm just feeling where the magnet is. I want to make sure I'm not covering it up. So this is a 5x7 and this is a 4x6 um, and then I feel like I need a little something something. So I went ahead and uh, cut this out of one of the pattern papers. I'm going to add this right here to the edge of the frame. I think it looks cute. Fun to look at. And um, I backed it with cardstock just to make sure it's rigid. So as you're pulling um, photographs in and out of here, if, if it bumps into it, it's not going to tear it or anything. It's going to be strong enough to stand on its own. Hold that in place for a second. And then I cut out um, some more triangles to add as accents if we want. I'm going to look around and see if anything's screaming for some embellishment. There's one, and then I've got the blue. Okay, that's down. So, let's see, do we want to do anything here? further. Does that look all right? Or it looks a little crowded, doesn't it? I don't care for it. I'm not sure I like all those colors. I kind of like that, but let's pull in the yellow one and see if we like that a little bit better. And then I've got one more choice. 
and it's just got more blue in it. I think the yellow is the way I'm going to go. Let's flip these, put the black and white on top and the color on the bottom, see if we prefer that. Not really. So the other thing we could do is that. I kind of like it. Let's try that. I kind of like that. What do you guys think? I can't hear you. That's what I'm going to do. I hope you like it. Yeah. Why not? And just so you know, the entrance is here, right? Hold that together for a second and I'll just put this in here. Just to remind us, it's a pocket. You'd think I had a bunch of caffeine, but I did just have a bunch of chocolate ice cream. Maybe that was it. Maybe there's a lot of sugar and stuff that makes you jiggle. There we go. Yeah, I kind of like it. Uh, let's call, um, you know, I kind of like the, <laughs> the way it's pulling this blue back in over here. Do I have a smaller one? No, I don't. kind of wish I did. Thing. You're like, oh my god, that's too much, huh? It's too big. That's the problem. I need a smaller um, embellishment. But you know what? I, I should go through my goodie bo box. This is all the um, chipboard and whatnot. I'm sure something in here that's screaming to be glued down here that has blue on it. enough or too much. I'm going to cut part of my circle off and see if I like it better. I think the problem I'm having with this is the background. No. Maybe. I like it. That's what we're doing. This is my, uh, my goodie box, right? Yep, that's it. Okay, 
I hope you guys like it. Don't need that magnet anymore. This needs something else. <laughs> Maybe one more. Down here. Closer. I don't like it. Maybe a different color. I'm going to fuss around with that a little bit more in my own time. And I will, oh, here's a solid black one. That might work. Um, No, I don't want to put it in front of that. It'll make it too hard to put a photo in. Oh, I did. Did I cut? No, that's it. All right. Um, I'm going to fuss around with that later. I feel like I still need to do something, but I don't know what. Okay, that's it for now. Page four. All done.